I think the most important thing uh, in translating Mamma Mia to the film is to not lose the energy and spirit that it has on stage. There is something that we can't put our finger on that is what we call the kind of essence of Mamma Mia, the Mamma Mia factor. It's a kind of anarchy, it's humour, it's a playful spirit, it's a silliness, it's a preparedness to really let your hair down and not care in the end what you look like. The joy of Mamma Mia is that it's about women that get second chances, women of a certain age having a great time. It's grown-ups behaving like kids. It's boundaries being broken and it's a kind of irreverent spirit, I think. There's something just very human and forgiving about being human and being female and all the things that go with it. You know, in a world where we're very concerned about how we look and how we're presented and the cosmetic aspects of things, I think there is a sort of warts and all thing that Mamma Mia has, a lack of slickness. And I don't mean, I hope, a lack of slickness in the filmmaking. I mean, it's sort of earthy and something really deep feeling about it.